Well, right, guys, as you can see, not much has gone on uh, in the last week or two. Today's the second of October, and we're gonna try to get started back on the car a little bit. Uh, that's been some of the issue right there. Been trying to fish a little bit, but we had trouble with the motor. So uh, we pulled the motor off the boat and uh, took the boat and they're putting a new motor on it. This one's just, it's shot, it's been rebuilt twice, I think, and uh, something happened to it and it's probably needing to be rebuilt again, but the, the motor's an old motor and I'm not gonna waste any more money on it. So uh, we're getting another one pretty much just like this one, same size, 55 horsepower motor put on there so we can do a little fishing, a little more fishing. Uh, driver side door we did fix uh, hopefully and we went over a, a couple more places trying to smooth things out some I did not block the door yet uh, where we put a little filler but we're gonna get this up on uh, one of those stands in there and uh, do a little work on it and we're also going to pull the car back out in the middle of the shop and fit that door and see what's going on at the bottom now that we've made our repairs. And as we have a little progress, we'll bring you along. All right, Tubers, Jeff Lynn's in the garage with you October the 23rd. And we are out in the garage working a little bit this afternoon. Uh, we got the driver's side door fixed and back on the car, hopefully for the last time. And you can see the repair we did turned out pretty good. Everything's pretty flush across the bottom down there. Not gonna, not gonna make any big adjustments right now. Main thing I wanted to do was hang that door and see just what we're gonna end up with down here. And I think we're gonna be fine. Um, we did what we talked about doing. We cut it back. We gave ourselves a little bit of relief in there, and then we went back in there and welded it all up. It looks pretty decent. I like it. I believe I'll be able to live with it. It's probably not perfect, but this car won't be perfect by any stretch. But uh, from here, I think we'll fit the fenders again. We'll make sure, hopefully, that there are not going to be any big surprises on fitment. Uh, we did have the fenders on at one time with the hood, and I think we're pretty close, probably close enough that we can go ahead and start our body work. We'll pull the doors back off. We'll do the doors and the fenders on our stands. Um, need to order two more of those. That way we can have all four of those panels um uh, accessible so i don't have to take them off lay them in the floor or anything i don't want to get into all that so we'll be able to do the doors fenders and work on the quarters roof skin and in those areas where we need body work there um once we get that like we want it we'll probably go ahead and shoot everything with a uh high bill primer or 2k primer whatever um and then we'll go from there. Uh, we'll Once we get it straight as we can think we can get it, we'll shoot jams uh, and areas that we need to go ahead and put paint on, reassemble the car, and then paint the car all at one time. Uh, motor and transmission still kind of up in the air on what we're going to do uh, as far as what we want, what we're going to end up having to buy, but, but we can do all that a little bit later on. Main thing right now I'm going to concentrate on is the body, get the car done, uh, and then we can drop the motor and transmission in and wire the car later. So that's where we at. That's what we've been up to. Been working on the door a little bit. Um, still a lot of other stuff around the house we need to get caught up on. We had just kind of put everything uh, to the side, and we were just spending too much time on this car. But now... Uh, we're in decent shape. We can get back going. And uh, again, a lot of stuff like this is going to have to be reblasted because we did not paint or prime uh, any of that. So disassembly and clean up and get all of our parts that will get this body together uh, in a primer. 
and and all those smaller parts that need to be painted we'll go ahead and paint uh door jams firewall uh, this upper panel here cow panel obviously we can go ahead and get most of that stuff done so uh not to bore you to death but that's where we at for right now and we're gonna get back out here again tomorrow and hopefully uh in the next day or two we'll have some progress and we'll turn this back on all right tubers jeff lands in the garage we you the 27th of october uh, we out trying to work on the car a little bit we got a little bit of stuff we need to do first need to clean up a little bit had some uh had some ceiling tiles, some ceiling panels blow out of the shop during the hurricane. Other than that, we didn't have much damage. We got lucky. Got lucky. Uh, we're going to start on the car today by pulling the doors. The fenders are over there. We're going to take the skirts out of the fenders. Uh, all that stuff's got to be scuffed, primed. We've got to do final body work on everything. The, the car at this point it is about ready uh to start body work and primer uh probably leave the trunk on the car take the spoiler off the trunk obviously the bumper will come back off and uh and we'll go from there it's a mess it's filthy hadn't been hadn't been touched in quite a while but uh we're gonna get back on it we got to get this car done and uh, I'm shooting for Christmas of 19, so <laughs> we ain't got long, a little over a year. So that's where we at, and as we have some progress, we'll bring you back. All right, guys, getting on around about 4 p.m. in the evening. We're going to close it off right here for the day and for the weekend. Basically, all we've done is started taking the car back apart uh fenders header panel and stuff is over here with the brackets all that stuff got to be uh blasted scratched up whatever we're gonna do to it to do body work one place in this fender is touching the rocker panel right down here on the driver's side whenever we mount it and do our final adjustment i can get it real close but it ends up touching so i'm gonna clearance that before i do any body work on this fender and make sure it's good um did not take the doors off just yet but it, there's only a few few bolts a couple bolts on each side holding everything on so uh that's where we at it's what we've been up to and uh i'll upload this video because it has been a while even though there's not a lot of stuff going on on this video but at least uh you'll know that we're kicking we're working on it I've got to order two of these, and I talked about that sometime way back. I've got to get two more of these. I want the fenders on one of, by themselves and then each door. That way I'm not steady lifting one off, putting one on. I'll have four of them, and it'll make things a little bit easier. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. I know it's been a while. Uh, I apologize for that, but uh, just been a lot going on. We back on it. We're going to try to stay on it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, if we can get an after cooler for the air compressor and uh, get that so we can paint, we'll get this thing body worked and in uh, some kind of a primer pretty quick and, uh, and then maybe do door jams, stuff like that, and at least get the car ready to paint. So uh, that's the plan anyway. Sounds good. All right, Tubers, we'll do it some more.